what percentage of people in America that file a tax return do you suppose file a Schedule A? Just somebody give me a guess. It's a, you, there's no right or wrong. I just like a guess. 25. 25%? 40 percent. Okay. Anybody else want to throw? I downloaded the most recent statistics from the IRS, and it's just a little bit over 12 percent. Shocking, isn't it? Keep in mind, what percentage of households pay any tax at all? It's about 50 percent, right? For the first time ever. 52% of tax returns last year paid zero federal income tax. Yet we see people aching to put money in a tax deferred plan with a zero tax bill. So I've had people come to my office and say, I feel like I pay too much tax and I have to point out they don't pay any tax. Let's find some other strategy to work on. And how about this? Can you save money on taxes if you pay absolutely no taxes? Believe it or not, we're going to show you how FFP helps you save money in taxes even if you don't pay a penny of taxes. So most people in America are going to just go through their life and they're either going to leave assets or inherit assets that have pent up income and create tax liability when they potentially could have no tax at all. And we're going to show you how to take advantage of these ideas. And this is a Schedule A, which is one more part of the language of the IRS. So, in this particular Schedule A, they had $4,130 of interest, and in their brain, they think they're saving some percentage off their taxes, right? Down below, you see the total itemized deductions are $10,500. Until you reach $11,600 of itemized deductions, there is absolutely no tax savings from a Schedule A, because everybody's given 11,600 to get started. So then when you start totaling everything up, you have to get to that level first. And many families don't have, well obviously, 88% of the tax returns did not file a Schedule A because they did not have enough deductions to exceed the $11,600 number. Stunning number.